Hello, this is Frida. Welcome to my channel. I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, this is a surprise <laughs> uh, tutorial. Actually, I was working for another tutorial and then this just bing on my head and uh, I just had to share it with you. I haven't did, I haven't done a trial example or anything, so I'm going to do it with you guys. And um uh, it is the same uh, blanket that I have knit corner to corner, the brioche uh, blanket, if you have uh, watched that tutorial. But it's going to be different. This is going to be corner to corner, the heart blanket. <laughs> and I had this yarn in my stash and I said perfect because I went and ordered more yarn from Svetlana from Turkey, Istanbul. Uh, if you watch my unboxing, uh, she has gorgeous yarn. So I ordered about, I believe, two and a half kilogram of uh, baby yarn. But this is soft as well. So I said this is about 200 gram. So I need more. I will go and buy it when I go out, if I do. <laughs> um, but uh, I can't tell you how many uh, balls you need. But I would say, uh, I would say about three so that's about 600 gram three maybe four of this so this is a four weight and it's asking you to suggesting to use a five millimeter knitting needle and it's called red and this is the color and you guys know what uh, burnout uh, premium is for it's 100 percent acrylic and it's super soft that's why I picked this yarn because it's uh, I'm making for the baby and it's made in Turkey. So uh, <clears throat> I will go and buy uh, three more balls of this. So this is about uh, it says uh, seven ounces, 198 gram, and I think I need about 700 to 800. But I don't want to make the blanket big this time. I want it about a meter, a meter, because uh, it's going to be a square. And I want about uh, about 40 inches wide and 40 inches long. Okay, so what I did is <laughs> I draw a thingy here. It's, it's just the blank paper that I put it on. My drawing is that perfect. And uh, so I'm going to use this. Remember uh, on yesterday's tutorial, I said you can put anything you want on uh, the brioche 11 stitches. So I, I wanted to put something different this time. And I'm working on it with you guys. So, and I'm going to use the pearl stitch method because it gives a nice uh, look, nice effect uh, on uh, knitted items. So let's get started. Grab your uh, crochet uh, knitting needle. And you don't have to use this yarn, but because it's Valentine, I, I wanted to make something different. And with hearts, I don't believe I made any uh, tutorials with any kind of heart. So just grab your knitting needle, uh, which is a five millimeter knitting needle. I'm just going to grab it from here. I love this uh, knitting. Uh, I'll show you before I start. I, I had a smaller one, like short one. So I went and ordered 32. I have other Addy Haya 5 again, but I really like it because it's sharp. And it goes nice and smoothly, so I went and ordered this, and I went and ordered a small one to knit up the sleeves when I'm doing it around. But I don't like that this part is short. See how short it is? It's really hard to hold a needle, but uh, for the sleeves, I have no other choice. Okay, so I just wanted to share. I just love, love, love these needles. And I ordered this time from uh, Canada, so I didn't have to wait that long. Okay, so you need to cast on a total of five stitches. Again, this is going to be corner to corner. Okay, so just five stitches. And I'm just uh, casting on as simple as, uh, simple as possible. And I'll be right back. Okay, so after casting on five stitches, you need to uh, purl. Five rows. This time I'm going to do knit by knit to knit system, knit technique instead of uh, doing a yarn on the front. So uh, and uh, yarn on the back. This is how you knit, and all you need to do it gives you that pearl effect if you knit two sides. 
So I am going to be knitting five rows like this and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have knit five ridges just like this, both sides here. For some reason it's not focusing. <laughs> okay. I don't think I ever did a tutorial with red color before, maybe. It's having a hard time picking. So what what, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add five stitches to uh, to make the. Uh, I really like this way because I don't have to worry about making the edge later on. It goes on with it when you're knitting. So two, four, five. So I have two stitches. Three stitches. Four stitches. Let me count again. Two, four, five. One more. And then I just knit them knitwise to give that nice uh, two sides again. Wrong side, right side. I am knitting. Okay, so I have two, four, five. Now I'm going to do a yarn over. Just like this. And then I'm going to knit two, three, four, five. And on this one, I turn my work and I do the same. I repeat it. I repeat what I do. So one, two, three, four. And then five and I knit this again one two three four five and uh, we do a yarn over yarn over and then I knit so I'm going to knit again another five ridges four ridges and I'll be right back to show you how to do the decrease and start the heart pattern on the blanket i forgot to i forgot to mention that always after the five uh, stitches make a yarn over on uh, i believe the wrong side yeah on the wrong side here but when we knit all the way to here we have to do it on the other row on this uh, see we have to knit this one because of the way that we started so don't forget that and I'll be right back. Okay, I have knit five rows. I just want to say uh, I, I haven't, I'm uh, make, doing the tutorial, but I noticed it's not picking up the color. Like, I don't know, it looks blurry. Even I'm trying to focus on it. But um, yeah, and maybe the red color. Well, I have, I had to show it to you. <laughs> do the tutorial with red because I had no other choice but uh yeah it's not good to do tutorials with red color that's all what I was trying to say anyways I have knit five rows and here is five five ridges two four uh two four so I am going to bind off hmm. okay I notice I did uh, extra here so I, I, I did this on purpose, just wanted to show you. So here, when I come here, I'm going to, I should have bind off here too. Yeah, it's two, four. So here's another trick for if you do extra and then you just don't want to um, frog it, you know, pull it apart for one row. Here's a trick that I can show you. Okay. I'm not going to... Uh, just gonna knit this last one there's always tricks right so there's five rows here so what you can do is well I need to frog this anyways need to or, here we go so what you do is you flip this on top of here you get rid of one stitch you flip this on top of this one you get rid of the second stitch and then you, well, that's, 
and then you flip this get rid of uh, another stitch okay so uh we're okay but i need to knit this stitch so i got rid of the three stitch just say if you forgot you're watching tv and then you did like uh five rows it has to be five see two one two four five here two four five the red color is just uh giving me the thingy here okay so i'm going to knit these two stitches and when i come back we're going to uh, pick up uh, two, three more stitches so it gives that nice effect and i already did a tutorial like four uh, i posted already four videos so i will put the 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 longest uh, tutorial and then you can uh, watch it over if you haven't watched it okay so i'm going to do a yarn over always do a yarn over after uh, just to this is to separate the the edge and then we continue knitting but we were going to put the heart right in the middle here okay so i need two markers okay so i put the marker right in between in the middle if you count just count from the yarn over so it's uh, it's right in the middle between the five stitches so it's the third stitch so we're going to make the heart okay to do the heart what we're going to do is we can focus okay so we're going to knit so here we're going to get rid of these two stitches so i'm going to knit them to two together and then i'm going to do a yarn over and knit this stitch and then do a yarn over and then knit two together the reason i'm knitting two together because we're doing a yarn over and i need to get rid of those uh yarn over that we did because we don't want the blanket in the middle to increase right so we're starting the heart and then we continue knitting all the way to the end okay i'm just checking here so we have two four five okay so i'm gonna knit this and then what I'm going to do is, it, let's say if you did an extra row, this is just to show you one of my tricks. And I did this on purpose. And most of the tricks that I show you, I always do it on purpose for you guys to see. <laughs> uh, don't think, oh, this woman, she's, uh, she's weird. She's making mistakes a lot. No, I make them for you to sh see. Or else how are, how are you going to see if I don't do it, right? <laughs> okay so we got rid of this one see again two four five so that's how you can get rid of the three stitches and then when we come back we're going to bind uh cast on again pick up stitches okay so i'm just going to continue knitting now we're going to um uh, so on here i just did a diagram just to create how this is just the best uh thing that i drew or else uh uh, it wasn't I, I I drew it in different so many papers so we're gonna do this one we already did the first one so one two three four five times we're gonna do it and then uh, we're going to okay when we do the five times we better not forget this the middle right so six on the seventh row I believe I will come back to show you so one, two, three, four, five, six times we're going to do the same thing, but on any, uh, I'll just show it to you. It's better to show it. I, I feel uh, more comfortable than showing than telling. So here we go. Yarn over. Okay, so I'm going to come. Well, this row, I'm just going to knit. We're just knitting. When I come back to the other row, we're going to be, one row is just knit stitch. That's all we do. And the next row, we're going to uh, move it. The yarn over. Okay, so we're going to pick up three stitches. 
and uh I already showed this on the tutorial, but I'll show it again. One, two, and three. You should have five, always on the edge. Two, four, five. And then we knit them. Now we're going to make the other uh, lace. Second time. Okay, I don't know what happened here, but it looks like this wasn't knit. <laughs> it happens. Uh, okay, I'm going to do a yarn over. And uh, the yarn over is uh, just to increase, to have the blanket bigger. Okay, so right here, I'm going to get rid of these two stitches and then add another stitch. And then I knit these in the middle. Do a yarn over and then I get rid of uh, one stitch, not two. Okay, so I continue knitting. So continue knitting like this. Uh, how many times I said? So uh, two, four, five more times, and I will meet you two, four, six, seven. So there should be seven, seven uh, yarn overs like this, and I will be back, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so I've been knitting, and I'm at the point that we're going to make the heart where you where we uh, join here so I'm going to be doing this row so you did two four six rows of the lace yarn over and then uh, the decrease one stitch so we're on the seventh row where we're going to do it again on the same on top but here in the middle we're going to do right in the middle we're going to do uh, this yarn over and then get rid of uh, the stitch so I will show you that and this is how it looks like so far and don't forget always uh, knit five rows get rid of three and then pick up three stitches so that's very important so all the way until we finish the blanket we're going to continue making that uh, edge so I'm just going to put a marker right here in the middle let me focus so it's right here so it's in the middle six stitches here with the yarn over if you count it six stitches here so in the middle right here on the seventh i put the marker so we're going to do the increase on both here yarn over and uh, i'm sorry decrease and yarn over on both sides right there okay so i'm just gonna start knitting and i picked up stitches the three stitches focus and uh One, two, three, four, five. Always five stitches on the edge. Then I'm going to do my regular yarn over. So I'm going to knit all the way right on top of here. Okay. So right here, I'm going to get uh, rid of the two stitches. And then I'm going to make a yarn over. Then I'm just going to knit these stitches. Oh, uh, I did it wrong. Sorry. It's supposed to be on the other side. Okay, I did it wrong. Okay, so I'm going to knit these. Here I'm going to do a yarn over because we're going this way now. And then I'm going to get rid of two stitches. Well, one stitch. I When I pick the two, when I knit the two, I get rid of one stitch. <laughs> and then I'm going to knit one, two. It's supposed to be two stitches. So let me just look. Yeah, that is correct. 
So then I'm going to uh, knit these two stitches. I'm going to do a yarn over and knit this middle stitch, and then do a yarn over and then knit these two together. So again, I'm repeating myself, but uh, I am getting, I am doing a yarn over, which is I'm increasing, but I'm when I get a, a getting a knitting two together, I'm getting rid of that extra stitch, so the middle won't uh, increase in the middle of the blanket. Okay, so I'm right here. I knit three stitches and I knit this two together and I do a yarn over and I just in continue in uh, knitting so I'm going to let you knit because the wrong side is all nothing uh, nothing to be done just knit stitches and I will meet you at the other side to uh, do the next row which is uh, this part so we only have two more rows to finish the heart so we just finished this part now we're going to do this part when we come back. Okay, so I'll meet you back. Continue knitting just like this. And don't forget to forget to pick up your stitches and do your yarn over on the edge. And I'll be back. Okay, so I am right here. And I am going to do another yarn over on the next right here. As I uh, throw here. See, we're going this way. And then I... Uh, going to be in between just to create that heart shape I made this up <laughs> okay so uh here we go we knit this one and then what we do is we do a yarn over and then we get rid of these uh, the stitch and then we knit one stitch just looking hmm Okay, so this part in the middle is increasing, right? So we're trying to decrease here. And then... Okay, uh, I'm going to knit these two together. And then do a yarn over. And then knit one, two, three. Then do a yarn over, knit these two together. Okay. and uh, knit these two together says see it's shaping oh my goodness it's really nice like I said I'm knitting with you guys <laughs> well uh, this is uh I already did uh, so many, how many blankets did I do three already I think so I thought to myself okay and I'm working on another one but that that tutorial is gonna come up pretty soon uh, and then this popped up in my head. So uh, I'm just using the same technique, but trying to, you know, make a different uh, stitch in the middle in the blanket. Other than that, and I just continue knitting. So I will come back and we're going to finish the heart. See, you can see, can you see it better? I think the red yarn is uh, not good to do tutorials with. Okay, so I'll be right back and don't forget uh, the edge with the yarn over on, on the here always do a yarn over and I'll be back back here I'll meet you and uh, we'll finish the heart I'm going to finish the last row and it's you can see doesn't this look nice <laughs> I hope you can see it it's uh, not showing well on my side so I have knit so we have three stitches here what I'm going to do is we're going to uh, yarn over. This is how I get rid of two stitches. I knit this first two together and I just flip this just like this and I do a yarn over. So we're, we finish the heart. Can you see? You can use this method on anything. It's, uh, it's nice. Okay, so we should have three stitches again. So I'm going to repeat this. We're going to do yarn over. And then I'm going to slip this. Knit these two together. Do 
just like this and then pull this on top and we got rid of it okay so we're going to knit a couple of rows and then we're going to start the heart here and the heart here well not actually a couple of rows it's just that i'm going to finish uh, the wrong side and i'm going to come back and we're going to start a new heart here so we're going to be marking our stitches again in the middle okay and i will come back to show you that and this is how it looks like so far okay so i will finish the wrong side i will knit and i will come back okay so i am going to be making hearts here and here and then the bigger the blanket becomes on, on the next one i will make it on top of this one and it goes on like that so i'm going to repeat what i did here on here starting here i was just trying to figure out i should leave some space here so i left about four well if you look at this with here it's two four five stitches between gap so it won't be close to each other and i put uh, two four six seven stitches here so uh, there's a gap between the edge i'm just using my judgment and uh, i'm creating this blanket and i hope you guys like it <laughs> i think it's going to turn out nice and i did the same on this other side so i'm just going to repeat what i did here this is all to it so again i am going to be repeating uh what i did if you want to take a screenshot i know it's not a good uh, drawing but this is all i can do i'm not an artist drawing artist so here it is there's actually one stitch between here <laughs> just to let you know and uh so first we knit two stitches together yarn over and then knit the one in the middle yarn over and knit two stitches you can go back rewind it and then you can go back and uh, see how we did it here it's the same thing repeat but we're doing it on here so i am going to forgot to i'm gonna knit these two together yarn over knit this one yarn over and knit these two together okay so we started this one and i'm gonna knit all the way to the other side repeat it okay so i'm going to knit a couple of rows like i said if you're lost just go back and uh, check this one or just do a screenshot if you want to get an idea you can screenshot from here okay so uh, i will be back i will knit a couple of rows and show you how it looks like so far okay so i'm back now i've been crocheting for a couple of rows i changed my background to see maybe it would be better for you guys to see how it looks so i finished the second uh, heart now i am going to be starting the third third heart so i started from here and i always leave six stitches between here there's the gap between the lace and here so i just followed that chart that i showed you and i'm going to be knitting all the way in the middle so it's going to be on top of this uh, first heart that we knitted so it's going to be like this and then so i'm just going to show you this row just to give you an idea okay so I come all the way here okay just like we're, I'm going to be repeating like what I did here so I'm going to get rid of uh, one stitch yarn over knit one which this one is right here in the middle of the blanket on the corner then I'm going to make a yarn over and then then get rid of that extra stitch that we just uh, made and I'm gonna knit all the way all the way to the end here at the other side so we have three hearts uh, on this row Okay, 
could just come all the way to the end here. And then what I do is, when I come here, I repeat. It's just to repeat, to create uh, the heart. That's all we're doing. And then it gives you this nice uh, texture. <laughs> you can make rabbits. I don't know. You just need to search, I guess, or draw yourself. Like I draw this heart myself. Then you can draw your own. And then you can make rabbits. You can make uh, diamonds. It's endless. And then I just knit all the way to the end. So um, I'm going to uh, put the link below on how to finish up the blanket it's the same method same method when uh, let's say let me put this here okay let's say you wanted to knit this uh 40 inches 60 inches how long you want so what you do is you measure from here from the corner so i'm planning to measure about 42 inches long and then what i do is that would be half uh, that would be half of the blanket but that's it's going to be a square right so when you come you knit always knit about six ridges as i mentioned on the tutorial that i'm going to put so when you knit about six ridges so i would say just finish this part the six lace that we did yarn over so when you come to the corner, what you do is you start to do your decrease. So on every row, you uh, knit one stitch here. And I will put the link below. I'm not going to go over it because it takes a uh, tutorial will take forever. <laughs> it takes about an hour. So I just wanted to share this lovely, lovely uh, tutorial uh, just to show you how to knit the same version of the blanket that I did the tutorial but put a heart on it so for, for, for this is a special tutorial for Valentine's Day so if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe share it with your family and friends and happy knitting <laughs>